Here is how you can complete and unlock the new Season 5 Reloaded Dark Ether Rift. With this rift comes various different Easter eggs that you have to unlock and churn from purple to gold in order to even complete and unlock this season's rift. We have various Easter eggs that we'll be returning from each season, such as the drum, the locked diary, Mr. Peaks, and the toy giraffe that you are going to have to find within the big map and unlock and churn from purple to gold in order to start unlocking and using this season five Dark Aether Rift. So before we get started, if you can do me a huge favor and drop a thumbs up on this video and sub to the channel so you can stay up to date with new content just like this. I am a one man band, so unfortunately I was not able to be in town when this update was live. So I am a couple days behind in releasing these videos for you, but it is still useful nonetheless. If you can go ahead and do me that huge favor and sub to the channel and liking today's video. So getting started, what you're gonna wanna do is go into the missions tab and select this season mission, which is going to be in Act 4, titled as Ascension. Now you can easily jump straight into this portal right away and have at least a tier 2 weapon pack-a-punched, but you want to make sure you have some sort of level 2 pack-a-punched weapon before diving into this new mission. Now once you've completed this new mission for Season 5, you will then receive a Golden Mr. Peaks item. You can go ahead and store that away for later because it may take you a couple of tries to unlocking the various new Easter egg items. So once you have finished that new story mission, you're going to want to go ahead and dive into another game of Modern Warfare Zombies and you're going to want to bring in the various items from various seasons that you're going to use to unlock these Easter egg items. You're going to want to bring in the Blood Burner key, you're going to want to bring in an Aether Blade, and you're going to want to bring in the Barrette. Now, if you don't have these items, what you can do is go into the game, hop into an Elder Sigil or regular Sigil run, and hopefully get those unlocked so you can use them in the next game you jump into. So first, we'll start with unlocking the drum. In order to unlock the drum, you're going to want to go and make your way to Tier 3 using the Blood Burner in the exact location that I am going to, and you're going to see a Mr. Peak stall sitting on the edge of where the water begins. You're going to want to drive over that Mr peaks and it's going to be a track that you're going to need to follow by using the white arrows in order to unlock this reward rift. Now it is a little bit tricky but just go ahead and follow the same path that I am using here in this video and you'll easily be able to unlock this first reward rift for the purple drum. Now you guys have this video but you may miss the churn a couple times. If you do just go ahead and go back to Mr. Peaks, drive over and start from the beginning so you can go ahead and complete this part of the easter egg to earn this item. Next, to unlock the toy giraffe, we're going to go ahead and use the barrette schematic that we have in order to enter into a merc camp or stronghold. Highly recommend a merc camp. Very, very easy. You're going to use that barrette to sneak up behind an enemy soldier or a mercenary soldier, and you're going to want to assassinate them in order to get this reward rift. Now, the second you assassinate them, they're obviously going to know that you're not one of them. And you may want to kill the other remaining mercs around the area, or you can go ahead and just claim the reward rift and get out of dodge. And then lastly, we have the Locked Diary. Now, to unlock the purple Locked Diary, you're gonna wanna go ahead and throw using your Ether Blade to kill five Mimics. Now, you have to kill five Mimics using only your Ether Blade. Now, it seems fairly easy, but I promise you this is not an easy task. But the easiest way that I've found to get a horde of Mimics is by going to this location on the map in Tier 2, punching the Tome symbols within the water to unlock this triangle that's underneath the bridge. Now, once that is activated, a lot, I'm talking about a Chaos Horde amount of Mimics are going to spawn, and you can just start throwing your Ether Blade and dodging not only the zombies but other mimics until you get a no swiping pop-up and the reward rift that's going to open up now once that happens you will have unlocked that purple locked diary now that we have unlocked all the purple relics we have to now change these from purple to gold now starting off with the easiest one and the one i think is the most fun is the locked diary to change the locked diary from purple to gold you're going to make your way to this statue that's shaped like an eagle or a bird jump up to where this area is and offer this relic to the meteorite that you can here in your gameplay. This is going to open up a gold rift and you're going to take that gold rift which will immediately take you to the top of Popoff's nuclear power plants. Now from here you're going to need to use PhD Flopper to dive off of the power plant and onto the crate with the bird marking on it. Now, if you don't do it on your first try or multiple tries, fear not because there is going to be a rift underneath of that power plant tower that you can go ahead and dive right into to be taken straight to the top again. Now, I highly recommend that you do this with one or two teammates and that you also have a couple self revives if you're doing this solo because the timing can be a little bit tough to do on a thin or small area on the power plant itself. Now, when you've done it correctly, you will know because your, your character 
character's animation will dive with its hands spread out first and it's just making sure that you're in the right area to do so. Then you can just start trying to land on that crate and that's how you'll know you've done it correctly because a reward rift will open and appear the second that you've landed. But believe me, you may need to do it a couple times and it will take a couple tries after that and make sure not to fall too close to the power plant itself or else you won't be able to deploy your chute and you will get knocked. Next to unlock the drum from purple to gold, you're gonna make your way to your town center in tier two and there's gonna be a burnt body on the actual town center like statue that's in the middle and that's where you need to make your way up to in order to offer the relic to that meteorite that's there. There are two ways you can do this. Easiest way is have a scorcher. You can scorch your way up there. Another route that you can do to get your way up there is have a large vehicle that you can jump on top of to get to that area. Unfortunately, in this video, I didn't have either. So your next step is you're gonna wanna go to this building to the very top. And when you dive to deploy your parachute, it's high enough so you can make that trip onto that ledge and be able to offer that relic. Now, when you offer the relic, all four pillars are gonna light up with various ammo modifications. And this is gonna be important because a bunch of zombies are going to spawn and one zombie is gonna be glowing with the ammo mod that you need to use to kill it in order to unlock the reward rift. There will be multiple zombies, but if you don't have the ammo mod that's needed, you can go to one of these pillars to get that ammo mod. So as I mentioned before, once you kill this zombie with the ammo mod that's needed, there should be a couple of zombies that have this, that reward rift will open up in order for you to unlock that gold drum. Now the most difficult of these relics to change from purple to gold is going to be the toy giraffe. You're going to come to this location here on the tier three map and you're going to go to the van that is burnt up and destroyed and inside of the back of the van is going to be another meteor where you can offer the relic. Now the second you offer this relic a bunch of zombies will spawn in along with a mega abomination and there are going to be different rounds of high value targets that you're going to have to kill in order to get this gold relic. Now the first will be the Mega Abomination, the second is going to be a Mimic that has EMP Blast, and the final is going to be one of the hardest disciples that's in the game. He does come with friends, you're going to have to kill those various bosses that he brings with him in order to be able to even put any damage on that disciple in general. But once you've defeated all these waves, then you will have unlocked that relic. Now I do highly recommend you do this with the squad. If you are experienced to do this solo, feel free to. In this video I had help from a random individual individual that helped out and made this process that much more quicker because there is going to be a lot going on for this unlock. But once you've done that, you will receive the reward rift and you will get the gold toy giraffe. Now, once you have all the items in gold, you can then make your way to the plaza in tier three. This is where the season five rift will appear at, but you're gonna need to go to each pedestal that has the image of the actual relic and place them on each pedestal in order to unlock this season five dark ether rift. Now, per usual, you can expect something to come out of this reward rift the second you open it, and this is gonna be a mega abomination. So be prepared and have a high value gun or weapon in order to defeat this mega abomination. Now, the great thing is as well is once you defeat the mega abomination a reward rift will activate and it will have a sigil for you to be able to use to go directly into that new dark ether rift now you don't have to do that you can bring in an outer sigil so you can begin right away unlocking the new schematics for this season but that's going to do it this is your guide to complete this season five's easter eggs and dark ether rift and as i mentioned before if this video helped you out make sure to drop a like on the video share with your modern warfare zombies squad mates so they're in the know on how to unlock and enter this season's riffs and sub to the channel so you can stay up to date and get content just like this not only for modern warfare zombies but once black ops 6 opens up we're going to be unlocking and telling the story for the black ops 6 easter eggs as well and as i mentioned before make sure you hit that sub button so you can go ahead and see later videos on another easter egg that you may not know about including a new blueprint that is solely only available for modern warfare zombies players but that's gonna do it for me until next time peace